think is not your typical pageant? Typical beauty pageants are about being perfect. Miss Ink is about being perfectly imperfect. There's no age limits, there's no size limits. It doesn't matter if you're a size 8 or an 18, you are gorgeous. We're there to see your tattoos and how you rock them. Here at Miss Ink, we don't discriminate. You know, we don't care if you're single, if you're divorced, transgendered, everyone's welcome here. It doesn't matter if you've got kids, it doesn't matter if you've got a disability, you are allowed to enter. Miss Inc. is an opportunity. It is a stage for any girl to take. So unfortunately, we did have one of our finalists who wasn't happy with her title. She thought she deserved a, a much higher title. The next day, she did start to kind of unleash on social media, leaving some comments that she should have gotten a higher title and that Rachel Vamp should have gotten a title with her. She should have been up there with me. Um, why wasn't she? In my mind, the people that won didn't have tattoos. I thought it was a tattoo competition. And then that's when Blaze like jumped in and those two went at it for like an hour. Every competition you go in, if so, there's always someone that goes, it is rigged. You can prove it till you're blue in the face that it's not rigged and there is always someone that brings up rigging even in the horse shows. And then, yeah, the same thing in the pageants. And to me, it's offensive. Well, I'm the current Miss Inc. Australia. So I, tr I got in there and tried to explain in a nice way, like, this is the scoring breakdown. And it wasn't until I had an issue on social media that the judging actually come out and what the judging was based on. Blaze then even said that the competition was so close, it was only a matter of a couple of points. And in my head, I'm like, she wasn't even there. How does she know what the point scoring system is? How is she privileged to this information, but nobody else is? I have so many questions about the whole process now. It's a shame, you know, because she wasn't happy with the judges and the judging system and, and how it all works, but it, it's worked for a long time and we think that the girls who did end up taking the higher titles were much deserved. I really hate seeing people disheartened. You know, they're obviously personally hurt. If you think it's not for you, you could just take your title and then not compete again. If that was my kind of pageant, they would have stripped the crown and sash and title completely off of her for acting like that. It got to the point where, in my mind, she basically said she wouldn't give me the crown anyway if I won. The post was deleted by the time I could go back in and screenshot it. Like, I don't know if it was, even if you won, I wouldn't hand you the crown, but it was, I wouldn't want to hand you the crown, basically. So in my words, how I interpreted it was, what's the point of going? Blaze is basically saying she won't hand it to me. So therefore, are they not even gonna look at me and take me seriously in the competition, so why waste my time? Her and Blaze had like a comment war. Blaze is like, you got a crown, why are you complaining? And I was... She said to Blaze to straighten her own crown. She goes, straighten your own crown because my crown and sash is in the bin. Like it was, he was like full on. <laughs> it was pretty funny actually. Our final stop on the tour is in the heart of Australia, the capital, Canberra. With our four state heats now complete, we have our 16 finalists. We have Miss Inked Foxy, who was crowned Miss Inked Adelaide, followed by Miss Inked Nadine as first runner-up, Miss Rhiannon, second runner-up, and Miss Donut as Adelaide's crowd's choice. Miss Shook was named Miss Ink Sydney, followed by Miss Sophia as first runner-up, Miss Talia as second runner-up, and Miss Nikki Dimples as Sydney's crowd's choice. Miss Chloe Coven was crowned Miss Inc. Melbourne, followed by Miss Stephanie Perturbed as first runner-up, Miss Kyla Willow as second runner-up, and Miss Ophelia Wednesday as Melbourne's crowd's choice. Miss Sora was crowned Miss Inc. Brisbane, with Miss Inc. Slipknot as first runner-up, Miss Carefree Christie as second runner-up, 
and Miss Six Inch Minx, taking home Brisbane's crowd's choice. These are our 16 finalists heading to the National Championships in Canberra. With Carefree Christy deciding not to attend Nationals, we now have 15 finalists competing for Miss Inc Australia. For our national event, our titles are different from the state heats. So we have our winner and runner-up of Miss Inc Australia, and then we have four queen titles. So our queen titles are Tattoo Queen, who has the best quality tattoos. We have Charisma Queen, who has the best personality on stage. Then we have Theme Queen for the best overall outfits. And then we have the People's Queen, which we go off crowd, crowd noise for. I barely got any sleep last night, honestly. I was just so nervous. I was up until midnight purling last night. I'm exhausted. This is kind of relaxing to sit here and I could so have a nap right now. <laughs> the misconception that very darker skinned women can't get tattooed, but look, we've got some nice okay. See? And it all lends really well to beautiful dark skin. Week, you know, maybe you should compete for Miss Eve next time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll support you, Laura. <laughs> If I win, I'm sleeping with the crown on tonight like this. Oh, I'll, I'll eat the same. I'll, I'll walk around the neighborhood to this for no reason. I just waltz down the street. I take my dog with me, wave at everybody. Hi. <laughs> so I don't forget them. Um, my boots. Oh, Snails, did you want to come? I am so stressed and we leave like first thing tomorrow. On the day of Miss Ink, it's my Nana's birthday. So I'm gonna try and make it a little bit special for her and go on away to Canberra for the day. Yes, my, my Nana's and my heart girl. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this with Steph again because she was the one that gave me the confidence and the encouragement to actually Aww. do this in the first place. And the fact that we both got into the finals together alone was amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna have a look at the photos. Oh my god, no, I'm gonna get nervous. They're all so pretty. They're so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Foxy from Adelaide. Oh, she's got so many tattoos. I'm like looking at going, look at all those tattoos. I'm gonna be like, just looking at like. That's right, we're filling you up right now. We're trying yeah. our best. For Nationals tomorrow, our finalists are coming from all corners of the country, via plane, via car, via kangaroo, all coming together in Canberra for what I hope is an amazing night. We are all packed, ready to go. I'm going Grinch on stage. I'm a little nervous. See you guys. We still have yet to arrive in Canberra. It's my Nana's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Nana. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Nana Marilyn. <laughs> So Miss Inc is tomorrow night. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. Still have quite a lot of stuff to do. I'm like going to rhinestone this bodysuit. I need to sort out everything with my bat wings. Now it's game time. So last year at the Nationals, I dislocated my knee the night before. So I'm not partying this time. I do have a bottle of wine though. Where is the wine? Oh, there. I'm so excited. That's good wine. It's hard to place this year. I think this lady here, she might take out the title. Shug, who won Sydney, I think she is my biggest competition, but I also feel like Sydney overall is my biggest competition. I think any of these girls could, would, could be well deserving of taking home the title. I could be really in it to win it or I could be 
irrelevant. I am really tired from sewing so late at night, but I'm very excited though. And I gotta wrangle a hula hoop. I didn't even expect to get to nationals. I was like, okay, this is happening now. So in Canberra, ready for Miss Inc. Australia tonight. And what I've got here, I need to make my special donut box um, to put all my donuts in and just be like, hey. Oh, hi, churches. You should have a tuna. What kind would you like? Imagine if you didn't fit. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. So, what flavour they want? Nutella or custard? Caramel and jam. Lemon curd. Hardest bit of it all. Right, we'll just do this first. First step is putting it through the groove. How's that? I iron them on myself. And what's the time? Because I just remembered I've got to pick my donuts up shortly from the shop. We're going to get donuts. Donut, donut, donut. Six. So I'm in this Uber, just about to go pick up my freaking Amaze Balls babies donuts. It's just here on the right. Oh my god! So pretty! Also, get just on its own. This one in the middle, please. I got a I just came to scoop out this place because um, it's Nana's birthday today and I'm really worried. She won't have a seat. This is so much better than what we used to. <laughs> We're getting changed in the Norway's last one, so. I just wanted to make sure that we can get a seat for her prior to coming and <laughs> see what see what the, the go is, so. Miss Inc. Australia, Kiki 2023. Kiki? Which one's Kiki? Barbie. Barbie? What? Kiki 2023. Place. What the f is happening? What's going on? So, do you remember Miss Inch Kiki? Yes. She has organised to have a plane fly above the venue with a sign that says Kiki Miss Inked Australia 2023. Well, it's the grand final night and clearly I'm not there, but I still took over the event. Kiki taking over Australia one state at a time. You can clearly see who the real winner is around here. Queen Kiki. Yeah. Some of these girls are in it to win it. They really are. And if they don't, they'd let us know. Definitely. Love it, I, I love it. I'm here for it, but like that's, we've never seen that before. Come back next year. Come back next year. See you again. What you give us next year? Yeah. Right now we have a show to do. Welcome to the Missing Grand Final for 2023. We've got Stephanie, then Sora, the Fallon, Fallon, Sophia. Sophia. It's an hour before show time, and she hasn't arrived yet. The journey to nationals. Shit. How does this even work? Where's the key? Most people will have like a wardrobe malfunction. Me, I get into a massive car accident. 